for an edge stab is the same of the cross face. Like when he plays the inside pressure pass, like half guard pass, he always stab is a cross face. That, that's looking very strong. Once he sets up, as long as I see matches, no one could escape from that position. There should be some kind of secret, so I'm going to break down. So the cross face, generally speaking, people like to cap the facade armpit or like connect the hands to make it a gable. So what he likes is very shallow. He doesn't reach the facade armpit, except the time he uses the lapel. I just want to show here the cross face, like this. Then, usually he grabs around here like a, along the spine. Then, it's looking more like her using the shoulder and the biceps to control her face. So literally like the name, the cross face, you want to make the cross, you know, point his face. So Jonathan Alves seems like doing this type of action with his arm like this. This is like making a strong anchor with the opponent. So when you make the cross face, opponent needs to be flat on the mat. So in order for you to do so here, just drag, then drag the shoulder. So it's like two layers. There is the bottom, you make the cross face, the pull. The top layer, you drive your shoulder. Like this type of action, that's how you get your opponent flat on the mat. Once it happens, Jonathan Alves, most of the time, he likes to switch the hips, like the long step like this. Yeah, of course, the opponent wants to trap the leg, like standing with trap in a tie. Yeah, this is very common, like this. So in this situation, most of the time, Jonathan Alves switch the hips like this, then he tack his leg around here in order to stay in a good balance. The next thing Jonathan Abbas wants to do is the hip control. Most of the people, they like to look for their underhook from this position. But his case, he's much prefer to control the hips. This is like a grabbing behind the hips like this. This should be like making a opponent stay sideways, like holding here, then pulling like this. This is one of the great grips for knee cap pass. Like a lot of top fighters, players, they do that. Like Marshall Andre, he likes to do this one. Also, Fionn Davis, she does it as well. It's like hip grip, like grabbing the pants with palm up, then slightly pulling it. The shape is quite similar to smash pass as well, like hip control. Once I set up, I make it across with my opponent. Opponent is on a flat, on the mat like this. I slightly get sideways, like my head is pointed this direction. So this is the angle Jonathan Alves sets up for pressure pass. So once it's done, we do the guard pass from this position. So the first thing, I need to pull the right leg. So Jonathan Alves usually, simply he just wanna raise his hips up, like this. Like making a gap between him and his opponent. Then from this position, I'm going to switch the base. This is like exactly the same as a knee slide. So I raise my hips up. As soon as I raise my hips up, I switch my hips as if I look at the other side. So this is the most difficult part in this technique. I raise my hips up, then I put my right knee on the mat. Yeah, this is the same shape as a knee slide with cross face and hip control. As you can see, it's very important to keep on pulling the hips, like keeping the point sideways. It's gonna be really hard for him to escape from this position. As you can see, so with the cross face, I make him flat on the mat, then with a the pants grip, I turn him sideways with his lower body, like this type of like stretching hips. It's gonna be huge pressure on him. It's gonna be so uncomfortable. Then the rest of the part is quite simple. It's like driving away forward, then pull out the leg like this. Or it's even possible to use the other side of the leg to open up the knees, then complete the gallop pass. And Jonas Alves, usually he's really flexible on his hips and groin. After I pull out the legs, usually he wants to make this type of base. Also, this is important to stay good base. So from now, like open your toes like this, then as if he pulling the hips on the mat, then squat down. Unfortunately, I cannot do that, but most of the players, they are good at opinion on the top position, they can do that. They can even sit down on the mat. So this is a secret drive that way forward. As it, as it do so, it's pretty easy to drive like this, then keep the hips lower if it's possible to do. Nowadays, Jonathan Alves, he does more like a step for guard passes, like triangle, knee slide, it's like exactly the same as Mendes Brothers. But when he was a color bear, he plays a lot of cross face pass guard. So I show you again, so from this position, simply start with a cross face like this. Then sometimes he even does a sprawling to secure the space, like this type of base like this. Yeah, this is makes sense as well. 
like as I get, get my leg away from the point like this, it's gonna be way harder for him to recover to the ground. From this position, it's impossible for the opponent to get back to the close guard. There's no space at all like this. But sometimes, Jonathan Alves get trapped in a deep half positions like a opponent holder like this. Yes. But it seems like uh, Jonathan Abbott doesn't mind about it. He even like use this one as an advantage. Like get the cross face deeper and tighter. Then like, come to this position. Even he does got a pass from this position directly. Like I showed you before. Hip control, like point the hips to keep the point sideways, the cross face, keep the point flat on the map, like zigzag pressure, then switch the hips. Then I want you to be careful that when you do this technique, like knee slide from this position, not to hyper twist your knee. Obviously this position, he trusts my ankle like this, then I'm gonna twist, look, this situation, my knee's gonna be the axis to twist my body. If you twist any too much, this is gonna be a knee injury you may get. So in order for you to avoid, I want you to start with twisting your hips, then you put the knee. No start with the knee like this. So against this movement, what he wants is raise his knee up. Look, in this situation, my knee gets twisted. That's, I want you to avoid it. So in order for you to avoid, so from this position, raise the hips up, starting with twisting the hips. Once you twist the hips, the space should be available so this is the structure to avoid injury. Even just Alex from this position, he does even sprawling to stay good base like this. Seems like important things like a higher space between hips and opponent's hips, like this. Then if it's available, just like put any here, then stabilize the position. Also, I just want another idea. Jonathan Alves grab the pants around here after I make the cross face. So with my body type, it's a bit difficult, but I just show you once. So cross face to get opponent flat on the mat. Then this was supposed to be control the hips to get sideways, but like Jonathan Abbas did something like this. They grab the pants on the bottom. This is a similar structure as the leg weave pass, like this. It's gonna be way stronger to trap his legs as well. Once it's grab the pants like this, that should be easy. It's like a shin cut or knee cut action to slide it out like this. Then maybe he may even switch to like a leg wrist mass position or like some kind of actions. That could be a potential to do. Hey guys, my name is Daniel. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please push the like button and leave us a comment down below. If you want to learn more techniques, simply hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when we upload a new video. This way we can bring you new and improved content. Thank you and see you next time.